Today, I stand here blessed beyond measure to be opposite the love of my life. And it is the greatest honor of my life to declare in front of God and all these people that I commit all that I am to you, my beautiful wife. From birth, Beck and I were destined to be close. I have the huge privilege today of standing beside my big sister, Beck, the beautiful bride as her maid of honor. If you had told 13 year old Rach this day would come, she would have been over the moon. Beck, despite the trauma that you put us through as children, you truly are a wonderful sister and my best friend. For those who know Sam well, you know he treasures the strangest things. The more weird, the better. If I had to put into words, this is what I cherish most about Sam. His ability to make anything and anyone feel valued. You take me places. You're such a beautiful, fun and adventurous soul. And I'm so keen to see what God has planned for you and Sam. like there is an almost limitless number of things that I might like to say to you right now, many of which would at least to me seem equally fitting. I can't promise that I'm necessarily chosen the best combination of these things to say, but if you would please just lend me those little brown ears of yours for a moment, <laughs> there are just a few things that I'd like to tell you. Sam, after our first date, I was smitten, and after the third time that you asked me to be your girlfriend, I knew you were someone I could see myself with forever. It's hard to express how much I love you. It's safe to say God has blessed me far beyond my expectations and prayers. I'd like to start by reading a few scriptures that remind me of you, Beck. Do not gaze at me because I am dark, because the sun has looked upon me. And also in verse 5, I am very dark but lovely. And last and most relevant to today is verse 16, which says, Behold, you are beautiful, my beloved, truly delightful. You are so selfless, caring, patient, loving, and I am so excited to be your wife. I love your intelligent mind, your fun take on life, your good looks, how you're amazing at sport and music, but most of all, your desire to live a life that honors God. The Lord has truly blessed me with a deeper and more intense feeling of love for you than any that I've ever known. So much of my own heart seems to be no longer contained within my chest, but is instead walking around on its own, going to the beach, drinking coffee, and giving people dietary advice. You inspire me to be a better version of myself. You are the man I want to spend every day growing with, having adventures with, building a family with. Thank you for letting me into your life. Sam, I look forward to starting married life with you, supporting you in your dreams and discussing economics with you, even when no one else will listen. I am so excited to be in this partnership and on this crazy ride. It's just you and me and obviously Joe as well. <laughs> so excited that I think I should probably stop here and we can get to the bit where I marry you. I promise to be faithful to you, to cherish and respect you, to treat you with kindness and be sweet when you're feeling down. And I look forward to keeping God at the centre of our marriage and helping you to grow into the man he has called you to be. Sam and Beck have made their vows before us all and before God. Therefore, I declare them to be husband and wife. Sam, you may kiss your bride. The Lord bless you and keep you both in eternal life. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Samuel and Rebecca Hawk. It's nice to see so many people have all made that effort to be here and share in this special occasion. I'd like to welcome Rebecca to our family. Sam, we're super excited to have you as part of the Dream Clan. Your Dutch blood is recognised. 
and thanks for taking Beck off our hands. She can be a little needy at times. If everyone can be upstanding for the entry of Samuel and Rebecca Hall. So Sam, welcome to our family. It's been great getting to know you. Rebecca, you look amazing. Sam's been smiling all afternoon. God has truly blessed you with a great Christian man. And for this again, we are truly thankful. He was really, truly happy. I really appreciate that you've made him that happy and that makes you a wonderful addition to our family. Sam, my man, you've won Beck's heart with your goofy jokes and anime art. She's the buck to your weight, the laughter to your punchline and together your lives will be filled with much sunshine. Beck, the first time I met you, I knew you were perfect for Sam. You were kind. Honestly, you have quickly become one of my best friends and seeing you together today is one of the happiest moments of my life. Will you love our girl the way that Christ loves you? It won't be easy, but please, please do. Will you love our girl? We pray that you will, with lots of love from Lorraine and Bill. Will you raise your glasses with me? To the newlywed couple, to our favourite new hawks, may the dancing be merry and tonight not two orcs. To Sam and Beck, here's to a lifetime full of love and happiness. To Sam and Beck. And to Sam and Beck. It's been granted to me to trust him even more because now I have such a deep longing to be close to you that it's no longer enough to be your boyfriend or your fiance. But I need to believe that it's within his power to truly make us one flesh. 